Hello, my name is Michael Ellis, and I hope all is going well with you. I am a copy consultant slash copywriter with 15 years of experience. I've been involved with the martial arts for over 30 years. And the reason why I mentioned the martial arts is because martial arts has over 19 different business concepts like flexibility, teamwork, uh, quantitative information, your numbers, your qualitative, opening questions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you find this information helpful and beneficial to you, I want you to click that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I wanna do the same for you. If you have a YouTube channel, let me know. If you're on LinkedIn, let's connect or Twitter, even Facebook or Instagram, we can connect and we can encourage and support each other. So that's a good thing. So we're going through this series called the top 10 content marketing goals. Again, that's the top 10 content marketing goals. And we've already done eight of them. Amazing. Got through eight so far. So number nine is developing new business ideas. In order to be successful in any business, you have to have fresh and new ideas. What does that mean? That means you have to consider an analysis of relevant marketing. Like begets like. Apples make apples, oranges make oranges. So it has to be something related to your business. Maybe the same type of metrics or the same type of benefits and or product or services. Another thing, you have to note down your ideas and expand upon those ideas. That's concept number two. Those ideas that are written down will expand as you ponder them or what people call brainstorming. When I was taking up some courses in Springfield College, a beautiful college, by the way, in Massachusetts, we had a dynamic professor called Professor Anderson. Everybody loved this class. He taught communication. And he told us to take a piece of paper and have a pen or a pen. And when words come to you, just write them down. Don't try to make any sense out of it. Just write. And when the creativity stops flowing, stop writing. Take the piece of paper, turn it down, don't look at it for another 24 hours. In other words, let your brain and your mind rest. After 24 hours has passed, <clears throat> excuse me, take that piece of paper, look at those words, and expand upon each word. What was he doing? He was teaching us the salami technique piece by piece making notes of the words or ideas, letting your brain and eyes rest for 24 hours, then going back at it and expanding upon those words or those ideas. Try it. It works. Everyone in his class was shocked at finding their unique writing voice through that one dynamic technique. It was awesome. And I still use that today. So another thing we can do, concept number three in getting this goal done, is to use a competitive analysis. I wrote one on LinkedIn and posted it up there. Many are familiar with it, some maybe not. What does that mean? It means to look at your competitors in that niche and see what they're doing and how they're doing it and how you can use their strategies to benefit your business and outweigh them and or the other competition. You notice basketball teams, football teams, and even many boxers, before they face 
a new competitor in the ring or on the court or on the field, they will look at films to study the strategies and techniques of their competitors. It's the same thing in business. I mentioned the martial arts and there were times when my teacher would be showing me a strategy, I would have to sit back and watch and observe and take in what he was showing me before I tried to do anything concerning that strategy. It's the same concept. Then we have another thing that needs to be done, and that is creating a business model. There are three dynamic business models. There's the soft system, the hard system, and your information system. Various agencies use different concepts, but a business model is a roadmap to success. It is a plan, a strategic plan, to deal with the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. S-W-O-T. Now, a lot of people don't realize this when going through an interview. Most interviewers use the STAR system. Situation, task, action, results. You can use the same thing in creating a business model. What is the situation or what is your specific niche? Task, what task do you have to do? You list them out. What action do you have to take or analytics do you have to study? Or what are the results of that testing? And that brings me to another point to create marketing test. You have to test your marketing metrics, A-B split test, closed test, all kinds of tests, and it takes a while to see the results of what's hot, what's cold, your heat maps, and all of that good stuff. SEO optimization, um, your target audience, how they react. You can use polls. You can use surveys. And that's the last part. You can execute marketing surveys, polls, ask questions, and get feedback of how your target audience is responding to those concepts and those new business ideas. I study people like Neil Patel, Brian Clark, the Marketing Constant Institute, Grant Cardone, Joanne Webby, Carol Tice, Ross Simmons. I can go on and on and on. Also study people like Shaquille O'Neal, Floyd Money Mayweather, who has excellent business acumen. The young man's a billionaire and he's very wise. He has other wise people around him. So my point is, in order to develop new ideas, you don't want to be, and I don't want to be, the smartest person in the room. Go to someone or a resource that has more knowledge and insight in a proven track record of addressing the urgent problems, guaranteeing a promise, showing undeniable proof, and offers and ends with a friendly proposition. That's another formula called the 4P. You can also use AIDA, attention, interest, desire, which brings action. You can use EAT, E-A-T, expertise, authority, which builds trust. You can use SMART, specific, measurable, actionable, relative, and time bound. So there you have it. Number nine, developing new business ideas. Again, write an idea down, let your brain rest, go back at it, use your imagination. And also you can get feedback from a trusted family member or even a colleague. So take care for now, there you have it. You can reach me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. I have a page called Effective Psychology and Action, where I'm sharing the failures and success of others. Again, I don't want to be the smartest person in the room, so I learn from other people. I'm also on Instagram. LinkedIn and Twitter are two of my favorite. I have over 10,000 connections on LinkedIn, over 10,000 followers on Twitter. I've been a ghostwriter for Hen House Publications. Presently, I'm working with 
Willie the Bam Johnson as his brand ambassador, who has just released a new movie called Bam, the Willie the Bam Johnson story. It was released August 17th of this year. So take care for now. And remember, no problem is unsolvable. You have the answer. Bye-bye.